Okay, so this is going to be a very short video and to the point because the biggest thing, if your bees made it through the winter, first off, congratulations, <laughs> it's a big deal. Second thing is two things you need to remember this time of the year, feed, feed, and very important, mites, 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 mites. Today's the 26th or 27th of March. The weather is starting to get mild and you want to get on top of both. Check their, uh, check their weight. Uh, you can tip them just like what I was uh, doing with our two hives that we've been following. Tip them, kind of get an idea of the overall weight. But, uh, you know, feeding aside mites, treat them, treat the heck out of, <laughs> of your bees for mites. It's just, uh, that is an ongoing issue that um, people oftentimes, and, and here's the key thing too to this, is not only treat them for mites, but make sure that you use treatments that have a long, consistent track record of working. Uh, there's a lot of well-meaning people, and I'll probably step on some toes mm -hmm. saying that, but that's okay. And that is, there's a lot of well-intentioned people that talk about using essential oils and, and all this other stuff. Even though essential oils can play a part during certain times of the year, uh, you do need to make sure you depend mm -hmm. upon treatments that have a track record of being able to effectively kill mites while, sorry, I just had to get bee there stinging me on the hand, be, uh, killing the mites effectively while there's also brood present, which uh, eliminates oxalic acid. Oxalic acid is not a good mite treatment unless your bees are more or less broodless. Uh, anyways, without going, the uh, formic acid is an excellent one. Uh, people have good results with thiamol. Uh, the brand name for that is uh, Apigard. Uh, personally, like I said, in our operation, we rely on uh, Apivar and then oxalic acid when the bees are broodless or close to broodless in December. So feed and mites, feed and mites. <laughs> That's the big, uh, big takeaway, and we'll catch you again. And that's exactly what we're doing. We're uh, feeding, they're feeding that group of hives. Those have all been treated now already for, uh, for mites. Just um, now we're just feeding. So here's some bonus footage. These hives are getting ready, or are ready to be fed. Overall, I am so, so happy with uh, with how our bees are looking. This is, this is great. They're feeding, feeding uh, HFCS 55, high fructose corn syrup 55, 55%, and then the uh, rest is a mixture of fructose, glucose, all that fun stuff. Bees are flying, the sun is shining, and spring is Another thing that I just thought of to add, and that is, let's see, it's a very important kitty. Uh, and that is when you're doing mite treatments, this probably goes without saying, but it's very important to reiterate. And that is, sorry, I like you all. That's not exactly the view I wanted, but that's better. Anyways, cats have no discretion. Um, make sure that when you're treating your bees, you're treating all of them. Because once again, you have to look at it that whenever you're treating your bees for mites or any, uh, back when we used to do preventative treatments with antibiotics, uh, you're trying to make sure that you're doing a blanket covering of any of the pathogens that could possibly be present so that you're knocking everything down. Um, I know some people who will go through their bees and they'll see mites in some of their hives and so they'll only treat the ones with mites bad idea really really bad idea uh, which leads to the other thing do not rely on visual to uh, to know whether you should treat for mites or not just make it a part of your schedule uh, you want to treat probably three times a year uh, I'm thinking at a hobbyist level three times a year um, uh, late summer meaning in our area because once again this is you know beekeeping has a lot of variables in it uh but in our area western washington um end of july beginning the very first week of august at the absolute latest second time 
possibly mid-September because a lot of times what will happen is if you treat your bees, get them nice and clean, there's a lot of people who will not treat their bees until maybe much later. And so your bees can get reinfected by neighbors. And it's funny, it only takes like one hive. Uh, Randy Oliver refers to them as mite bombs, or, or I'm sorry, Michael Palmer, I think. Anyways, it really can just bomb your whole apiary with mites and viral issues that they carry. So um, make sure to treat your bees consistently and treat all of them when you're treating them and you should be good.